You builders did a mighty fine job once again. Just in time, too. I believe our next shipment of water is scheduled to arrive tomorrow. Our town owes you two our gratitude. Commissioner, you really ought to handsomely reward these builders for their efforts. Uh, right. I'll add that to the tab as well. Well, well. Bang up job on the, uh... You know, it's funny. When you and Mian got here, I bet old Mason the two of you wouldn't last a week. Luckily, he's so far off by now, I doubt I'll ever have to make good on that bet. <laughs> now, uh, where was I? Ah, that's right. You did such a good job of following orders that I've decided on behalf of the Commerce Guild that you deserved a bonus for all your hard work. Here's the amount promised by the city and... 50 goals on top. <laughs> That's right. All for you. Don't spend it all in one place. Bye-bye now. Hey, how's the paint going? Wait, don't tell me. I hate spoilers. See ya.
Um, howdy there. <laughs> I need to ask your advice on a little something something regarding a friend of mine who's in a real dilly of a pickle and... Oh, to heck with it! It was me! I wrote the letter! And I used my paw to deliver it! The guilt has been eating me up inside! It weren't meant for you, though. It was for me, Anne. I told my pa fifty times, don't give it to the builder. Repeat, do not give it to the builder. I guess hearing your name so many times got things jumbled up in that noggin of his. I wasn't aiming to cause trouble. On I just figured if I took her license, she'd have to take a breather. She's really been busting her buns lately, working herself to death. And if that happens, well, who's gonna go yakmo riding with me? But losing her license didn't help her relax at all. Now she spends all her time just moping around and never wants to do nothing no more. My plan didn't work one lick. I'm ready to face the music and tell her the truth, but... There's just one more teensy little hiccup. I, I might have messed around and... I just went and confessed everything to you, so... You're in on it too now, you hear? It must have fallen off my horse somewhere around the ranch. Can you help me go look for it? Good. Alright, now follow me. Let me show you where I was when I lost it. Dang it. That darn license better still be there. the end of the tunnel. Maybe tonight I can finally get myself a half-decent rest. I can't believe this all flew so far off the handle. Maybe committing fraud ain't all it's cracked up to be. I'll go give this to Mion as soon as possible and tell her all what happened. I really hope she can find some way to forgive me. Say, you're a really good listener. And a good license finder to boot. You're all right in my book. Thanks for all your help. We should catch up again soon under less incriminating circumstances.
You know, if it were just Mason and his diligence-averse style of building, I'm not sure we'd have been able to be back on track in such a timely manner. Who knows what kinds of terrible things might have happened if we had nowhere to store our water. Oh well, no sense in imagining up scenarios to scare myself. I do plenty of that in my own free time. Hmm. Hmm. See ya! See ya. Good day, Builder. I'll have you know that I've decided to stay in this town until I finish writing the story on Logan. 
It's the hot story in the press right now, and my editor Eduardo's adamant that I see it to the end, no matter the cost. Since I don't see Logan being captured anytime soon, I've decided to move into the Old Town Lodge. The Blue Moon is cheap and quaint, but it's so noisy that I can't write for the life of me. And I keep having nightmares. Writing for the Atara Times is only my day job. I'm actually a novelist at heart. Though, I'm a bit upset that my pa sent his strictest editor to oversee my writing. I wholeheartedly believe that my writing will one day see mass popularity. Indeed. Small columns pay the bills, but are hardly fulfilling as a creator. The novel is the true proving ground for one's skill. This Logan character? Adapting his story into a narrative of my own could be the next big step for my career. Hmm? Oh, well, yes, of course I have to do an adaptation. Not just write about his life. I'm writing a novel, not a biography. Plus, if I used his likeness without his permission, who knows what a crude felon like that could do? He might sue! Furthermore, I'll never meet the guy. Well, let's hope. I'll never get an interview. I'll certainly never get permission to write about him, and yeah, this way I can write whatever I think will be best for the novel. Much better. I'll just make a bandit character based on him and call him... Rocky! No, no, uh, Dr. Killface! Ah, that's terrible! Ah, right, of course! I did actually have a point to make with this tangent. That desk at my new apartment. That desk? The height is all wrong! The way I have to sit to write, it cuts off all the circulation to my brain. Now all my ideas are terrible! So, I need your finest writing desk with a pulpous comfy chair to get the juices flowing again. I'm counting on you! Great! Remember, I need the finest writing desk with a pulpous comfy chair. I'll hold off on the writing until I get the furniture set. The best stories need the best furniture! I got another builder and the local carpenter to help out with the rest of the furnishings. Ooh, can't wait for everything to be ready! Pablo seems more inspired than ever. I think he'll really stick with it this time. I mean, he's 180'd about three times since I met him, but this time! That's my story. I understand if you don't want to go riding with me no more, but I really was harboring good intentions. Elsie, I... Come on. You think I'd just forget all about our good times over one little mix-up? Riding Yagmo, greeting all the little critters? Whenever you drag me out of my shell, I always feel like I never want to go back. But I can't go out all the time. Doing lots of commissions is like my thing, you know? Honestly, nothing stresses me out more than getting behind in my work. I didn't know it was like that. I'm real awful sorry. Yeah, I mean, how could you know? Maybe just, next time you're having a problem like this, can you try and find a solution that isn't an elaborate scheme? Okay, I promise. Friends? Friends.
I am absolutely amazed at your craftsmanship. This set is good enough to put my pa's furniture to shame. I guess now that the furniture has been taken care of, we can get the housewarming party started. That's the idea. And that's why I invited you over. I already have a mental draft of the novel, but I just need to liven up my new place a bit to get my hands all prepped for writing. How about it? You wanna come? Good, good. Let me tell you what you need to bring. Let's see... Can you bring one dish? If one person brings one dish, ten people should bring enough for a feast. I'll take care of the other stuff. One more thing. Is there anyone else I should invite, in your opinion? But it's just a housewarming party. Getting the whole town might be overdoing it. Anyway, I'll write up the other invitations right now. No point in keeping you here. See you at 6pm tomorrow. Remember, bring one dish!
Oh, <laughs> 